Thank you for watching this video, Energy in Brazil, in search of excellence. I am Rafael Hertzberg, consulting partner at Interact Limited, an energy consulting company based in Sao Paulo, Brazil. Our agenda today will cover four points. What's excellence in the energy arena? What kind of strategies are there that might be conceived? What are the alternatives to be considered and how to make it happen? What is then excellence? In my experience, there are basically four points that are to be considered. The first one is the client willing to go for the maximum cost reduction at a designated internal rate of return, or is it about coming with the best benefits over cost for a given uh, set of conditions. The third point is, what is the horizon to be considered? Is it a short term or a medium term or a long term project? And last but not least, about risks perception. This is about the risks associated to the projects and also about the country risks. So these four points combined become quite uh, complex. The challenge is then how to conceive a good and sound strategy. In my opinion, it's about four very specific aspects. The first one, it's defining very well the boundary conditions that are very important for this given client. The second one is making sure that the board and the upper management are perfectly aware of the options and uh, that they understand the advantages and disadvantages and the associated risks of all the options available. Then uh, it's about structuring an energy plan according to the previous two points above. And the, third, and the fourth one is setting up a timeline to make it happen. What are then the solutions available? Well, there are basically three points to be considered. The technical, the financial and the management ones. The technical is about finding two defense projects and inside defense projects. Financial is about checking if the client is willing to make the projects happen using their own capital or is it about using third parties in a structured fashion such as BOT, Build, Operate and Transfer or EPC, Engineering, Procurement and Construction or Shared Savings or Performance Contracting well there are there is a list of uh, possibilities and the last one is about management how do I set timelines and how do I set up results to be achieved solutions have to be conceived to reduce the unitary cost of energy and what is a unitary cost is the value in reais per unit and per unit might mean in an industrial application tons of production in a commercial application it might mean the square footage of a shopping mall or a square footage of a building whatever so the contracting energy cost we might explore that area by setting a portfolio of energy sources including power gas biomass we might go for a higher voltage access to get more reliable energy at a cheaper cost and we might develop on-site power projects such as base peak and emergency generation and if we are talking about specific energy usage we might go for retrofitting projects 
and that might mean replacing old-fashioned electric motors by highly efficient motors that are available these days including adjustable speed drives replacing valves mechanical valves and uh, retrofitting lighting for example and uh, we might go for energy management and we might go for human behavior related options and we might go for cogeneration projects as well how to set up the decision making process usually when we are talking about industrial commercial and institutional energy users the preferred method is by comparison it means that um, after selecting a number of potential energy related projects each of them is compared with the other so that the board and upper management are able to decide what's best for that specific uh, client and then it's about the capability to manage the the selected projects uh, in the long run once the decision is made how to make it happen now it's about selecting the preferred method is it about contracting results such as setting up the desired goals and checking the market for proposals and or is it about developing in-house technical financial and management solutions these two cases are very interesting and emblematic the above one is about a leading packaging company in brazil and uh, i suggested that they go for a high voltage connection for their operation in the state of sao paulo to reduce their unplanned interruptions and also to reduce their power costs the project involved a one mile transmission line 138 kv and a 7.5 mva high voltage substation that involved uh, 1.5 million capital expenditure that was um, returned in approximately four years and uh, the other project was a peaking and emergency power for a major flight simulator training company for the commercial aviation in brazil it's a canadian company and the project involved a one megawatt um, biodiesel generation on site thanks for watching this video and here goes my contact information i am looking forward to hearing from you